Hey guys, welcome to part 2 of this small series of video tutorials to show you how to make uh, the best looking fire possible in Cinema 3D. I would just like to tell you guys to experiment. The more you tweak the settings to your liking, the better the final result is going to look. And since I made this series of tutorial in about an hour, I'm sure you can uh, make your fire good look way better than I did. Uh, so here's part 2 and I hope you have a good time watching. In part 1, we took a look on how to uh, model the torch that we can see over here. Uh, so if you want to, to know how to model torches and make uh, metallic looking textures, you can see that into part one in the description. Uh, now into part two, we are going to take a look on how to create uh, the lighting for a scene. Lighting that looks pretty much like this one. Uh, I know that the lighting doesn't uh, render properly. It's because of uh, Cam Studio, but I assure you it looks really, really good um, over here all right so um, first first off you, we are going to add a light to the scene press E on the keyboard and bring that light up uh, we are going to leave that light inside inside of the torch over here is going to to give some really nice lighting to the inside of our torch so we are going to, to leave that there but we are going to put some fall off to the light. So come into the detail tab, uh, select fall off, inverse square. And what fall off does is that it, it restricts the area affected by lighting. And of course, we don't want a white light. We are going to select a kind of orange like this. That looks pretty good for the moment. We are going to crank the intensity of that light up and we are going to crank the radius down so um, that looks good for the the inside lighting of our torch just leave it as it is we are going to duplicate that light and bring the other one where the flames are going to be and uh, of course we are we are going to put the intensity back down to 100% and bring the radius way up when you bring the radius up it increases uh, the area affected by the light uh, and we are going to put that up to uh, let's say uh, 300 uh, uh, 3000 about 3000 is good uh, so that's that's all right but we we would like some shading in there some kind of shading so we can first add uh, area shadows um, when you select shadow map soft going to create soft shadows but in this case it does it, it doesn't re render really good art shadows are even worse but these two render a lot faster than area shadows area shadows are really long to render but the, as you can see they look a lot better uh, we are also going to add some noise to our light so we come over here we in the noise we select both we will put a wavy turbulence put the these down to about one uh, increase the velocity so that we can see it moving uh, put some wind in there as well um, here we go with some wind we are also going um, and now if we, if we render as you can see it's it, it really looks terrible and we don't want that uh, we are going to uh, increase the brightness and decrease uh, the contrast over here so that if we render now you can see there, there, there's some slight, there's some slight um, variations to, to the light, and it, I, I think it really adds to, to the realism of the light. And if we render this, we will also be able to see uh, it. It automatically animates. We'll give it a little bit more time to render. Uh, it takes quite a long time to render. Uh, that's because of the area shadows that we added previously. So if we take a preview, as you can see, uh, this animates. This might be animating a little bit too fast. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to crank that velocity down and uh, I'm going to crank the wind down as well uh, to have less animation. So like that should be okay. We are now going to go into the visibility tab. I don't uh, into the general tab and add some volumetric light to the scene as you can see uh, another circle appeared over here and uh, um, if we go into the visibility tab and increase that it's going to increase the area of the visible light 
as you can see the light is now visible in this area we are going to crank that way up that looks kind of good and now we are going to increase the y value of that light so that it it matches the shape of the flames that we are going to add later so we are going to crank that down a little bit so as you can see uh, that lighting looks pretty good it's also animating and one last thing that you can do uh, to animate the lighting is to go over here into the animation tab uh, select your light go into general and keyframe sorry you can damn you damn you all right you can keyframe the light the intensity of the light throughout time so let's say i keyframe this at uh 170 at 15 16 frames i put that up to 150 and when you go into the light you right click so like after repeat after it's going to um to always re repeat between these states of lightning and if we go back to our standard view over here and hit play as you can see uh ah all right you have to go back into the animation uh, select the light and put like a thousand repetitions now sorry for that if you go back into uh, the normal view and we hit play we can see the light animating like this um, and if we hit render over here we can see I uh, will be able to see the light animating uh, by adding lots of keyframes and putting putting them on repetition you can uh, ensure that you get a uh, really cool looking lighting as you can see um, we have a preview over here it doesn't look bad at all uh, it simulates the the, inten the the varying intensity of a torch so uh, here uh, we, we have our blurry uh, things moving on the ground as well so I think it looks pretty good for the moment thanks for watching be sure to keep an eye out for part 3 in which we are going um, to see how to make the fire for our torch. So thanks for watching, have a nice day.